Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd give you a quick uh, shop tour today. Uh, so I did have another video planned, but uh, it's not going quite so well at the moment. I've got to work on that a little bit more. So I've reorganised my workshop a little bit. And as you can see, I have floor space at last. I've cleaned it all up, sorted it all out. It's been like it for months and it was time to get on and do something to it. I've reorganised this side of the workshop here. I've now got a bench here, which I didn't have before. And I get in the light here. I've got my pillar drill now mounted right in the middle so I can look, drill long items. And I've made the bench height just the right size so that I can push my wheeled benches and the toolbox underneath to keep them out of the way. I've also got uh, a couple of sets of drawers, one on either side. And there's my, what I call my miracle drawers. Got a bit of everything in there. If you can't find it in there, it's a miracle. And I've got my chargers up here now, which is nice. Also got power supply at this side of the bench here. Uh, my European ones there. I've got two British ones there for my British power tools that I brought with me. I've also got somewhere now for my bench grinder. Well, one of them. And I'm going to put my other one next to it. And uh, I'll be able to use those now without having to move everything, which is rather nice. And as you can see, you can see all the benches now. All reasonable. Anyway, and I put up a new shelf above to house all my little knickknacks for everyday sort of stuff. I've got rubbing alcohol and a couple of um, blow lamps and my water fittings and electrical connectors and bits and pieces up there with my welding masks below, the two welding masks and air fed mask as well and under there somewhere is a breathing apparatus effort PPE and my welding jacket there a leather one and then all my extension cables and get out the Sun here all my extension cables just here hanging up so I can get at them which is great I've cleaned behind my welders I've got my MIG there, it's a MIG 195, only a cheap one, but it's uh, it works with gas and gasless. And I've got my Clark 210 sitting underneath there, which I've had for years and years and years. And my current project, which is on the go there, this is where I do all the editing the videos just here my 3d printer there and uh, you have seen the toolbox before if you haven't it's in one of my first videos with all the uh, accoutre accoutrements in it my socket set etc etc but that's in one of my first videos so I won't bore you with that one I've got a little anvil here which I've got to get out and clean uh, it's a little 56 pound anvil, quite a nice little toy and uh, my next nightmare is to clear this lot up. I've got all my stuff in here, I've got a couple of projects that I've got to come which are sitting on that bench there and I've got my engine crane and uh, engine stand, there's my crane and the stand next to it and uh, a sheet metal break that I made which I'll bring out one day and clean got to clear up all that crap and what else oh yeah I've tidied inside my cupboards and drawers so I've got easy access now to my stuff like this one for example if this will open there you go I've got my uh, cutting gear in there and the top one here my angle grinders 
and mostly grinding and cleaning stuff in there sandpapers and stuff like that and uh, there you go it's, uh, above here I have got an electric planer my three routers one of which I use for dovetailing and the other two it's handy to have two because I've got one for my table which I don't often use now but when I need it I've got it and then in this one here behind my clock I've got my two circular saws sitting inside there <coughs> um, cleaned up my uh, my desk this is a special handmade desk that pulls out from underneath the bench I've switched cameras uh, as I was saying before the battery died in that one the uh, bench I made especially so that it's a big area to work with a flat anything large it pulls out and then extends I'll probably take that out one day and show you all and I've got my radius arm saw there compound miter effort uh, clean up now because it's full of covered in dust but uh, it's been the most useful item and of course you've seen my little tool cabinet before there's a full tour on that one on this on on my channel and uh, got my spray hanging up over there my good ones two of my top coat guns and then on the other side of the workshop over there I've got my other primer gun and a few other bits and bobs kicking about got my air nozzles trying to keep the sunlight out of the lens here got my air lock air nozzles sit here and then of course I've got my glues and fluids that I use more or less every day up there and alcohol and light and fluid uh, butane for my little torch and uh, that's about it of course I've got tile cutter sitting up there hardly ever used now hate tiling my small box sitting in the corner still in use not too impressed by the top box though and what else oh my charging station here got all my chargers in there from my ba different batteries with different power tools and solder and what else nothing else really got my ceiling fan right above me cobbled together out of a couple of bits found in the skip but it's ideal in the summer keep the flies away and what else have I got here I think that's about it I have got my power tools in this big white drawer behind my chair this one here uh, they need a good dust off surprising how much dust gets into the cupboards here in the summer so I'm going to get that out and dust everything off I'll probably show a video on that when I've cleaned all up uh, it's not worth looking at at the moment while it's dirty but anyway just a short video today just because I am working on this carburetor right here I've got it apart and seized up and it needs a little bit of work on it so I'm going to show you that coming apart in the next video not sure when that's going to be probably we'll see how we get on and uh, 
that's that for this week. Well, thank you very much for having a look. That is my workshop as it stands at the a usable space. The next thing to come in will be the Suzuki Vitara because it needs some attention. That's what the carburetor's off. And as soon as I get that back on, Suzuki's are coming in and that'll get a little bit of uh, TLC, get it working again because it's been standing for like nine months, ten months and hasn't moved and now it doesn't want to move so it'll be out in that and working on the fuel system anyway thank you very much if you've enjoyed this little video please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye now